Wait, am I sitting here with the kimchi squat? And am I on tape with kimchi squat? <laughs> no, no, no. Just for you guys. No, that kind of likes another oldie but goodie. It's a goodie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Who is that today? <laughs> wow. Oh. And I personally love this one. And no, this video is not sponsored, but it could be. Hi guys, welcome back to Skincare Shopping with you. Yay! Hi everybody. Yes, and we have a very special guest here with us today, Sophia. Hi guys, nice Can to you see you. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sophia. I've been with Uni's videos a couple of times. Yeah. It's nice to see you guys again, unicorns. They're the best. <laughs> um, I have a mask company uh-huh it's a subscription company i've been here before i'm also a licensed esthetician yeah so she's a very um skincare k-beauty all over global um expert we're so happy to be here today in olive young in suji right in front of my house thank you so much for coming all the way to suji oh, thank you i'm happy to be here it's yeah. actually a really great one to be at because it's actually one of the bigger stores exactly so i'm really excited to check it out yeah and the today's topic is going to be about anti-aging and we do have an expert here so it's going to be a fun one an informative one so let's go so I want to go to see some products and I want to ask you recommendations for anti-aging, you know? Perfect. And Is a it lot because of because I'm old. <laughs> Is that no, why because you're asking? I that we're over our 30s. How old are you, Anmi? I'm 37. 37. I'm 35. Korean age, right? No, American age. Amer 37. Oh my God, girl, you look you look nothing over <laughs> 25, okay? Uh, and well, who cares about age, right? But the beautiful, the secret that you have to maintain this beautiful skin. What do you think is the number one thing? It's all about skincare consistency and sticking to my routine. Exactly. So, what would you say, like, if you're in your teens? Yeah. What 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 product would we recommend? Well, really, so like in terms of anti-aging, there's really no huge difference between like your 20s and your 30s and 40s. Um, in terms of what you should need, right. but it is different because of the concerns you might have at that age. That, so, yeah. yeah. So if you're in your teens and even up to the early 20s, you might still be going through a lot of acne and like pimple care and hormonal yes, care. Yes, me here right now, yes. Yeah, so you want to work on those kind of um, issues mm. first at that age. And then when you, it all clears up, what you end up dealing with in your 30s and 40s is blemishes right, from right. all the mistakes you made when you were in your 10s and 20s. Right. So care for your pimple and acne well in your 10s and 20s. And then in your 30s and 40s, you want to go into your antioxidants and your vitamins and your serums. Yeah, exactly. So we are here at the pimple section. Speaking of breakouts. Yeah. Oh. So it's really important to care for your acne and your pimples early on in your 10s and 20s because if you pop it wrong or if you keep touching with it and you mess with it and you leave a scar it'll yeah. last forever it takes the longest time so it's really important early on to care for your pimples really really well. right and so I recommend using a patch mm. so this one's a really popular one from Cozarex mm -hmm. acne pimple master patch I mean this is like such, so OG I think this was one of my first patches and this is really popular and you can easily get it online as well and 3,500 won. Pretty so good do they price. Have, so does the actual like patch come with medicated? Oh, it does. It does. Mm. This one does. And personally for me, I really like the Biwish Trend one because it's really thin and you can wear it like under your makeup and mm. looks it's still fine and it sticks on even yeah. after you wash your face. Yeah. And this one is the one that I actually Claudia recommended because there's like a lot in here. There's actually 84 in here. Um, wow. And yeah, it's really good price. And I think that's one of the things that Olive Young can do because this is an Olive Young brand product. Mm. So this is, oh, it's pretty expensive though. 1200, no, 12,000 won. Yeah. However, there, it does come with two. So yeah, they do have all of these promotions for their specific brands. Can we talk about this one also? Yeah. This one I really like a lot because it comes with these like needle-like pointy thingies. Yeah. So it's called Needle Patch and it's got fentanyl, it's got Sika in it, but really I, I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just my feeling, but I really like the needles that kind of going into Ooh, that area. That's interesting because Sue and I, we actually talked about this yeah. uh, when we were here. Yeah. And what we were saying is we have never tried these before. Yeah. You know, I've, I've tried actually the wrinkle ones. Yes. But the, these ones for acne, we're scared because it's going to hurt, right? No, I'm, actually it's not, yeah, it's not as painful as you think. And actually it's the same kind of principle as behind the anti-wrinkle, anti-age thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what about this? Do you think that it's gonna help to really calm the acne and inflammation? Yeah, I mean, I think it goes into... I mean, so what this one, what they're claiming is that the actual ingredients, it helps 
penetrate through these needles. Right, right. So in my mind, it, like that's what this these needle patches so are really good for. So you've tried these before. Yes, oh. I have. Yeah. And you do you think it really helps to calm your acne and stuff? Yeah, it's really more for blemish care. Got you. Yeah. Uh. So I really like the needle patches actually. There's several of the needly ones. Mm. So it's not like super needly. It's just that it's a little bit bumpy. I bet you can hardly feel it, but exactly. it helps go penetrate through that area because well, you you really do want it to seep deeply. This one looks less scary than the other one. Can I that see the true, other one? That's, <laughs> that's so funny. It's yeah. on the man, but that looks more scarier. It than does. It does. Like it's pointy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, I gotta try this one. It's such oh. a microscopic look, a picture though, so right. it's not gonna be. It's not painful. Exactly. Okay. Oh, but that's really interesting to know. And the reason that we like. Per prefer these patches over the regular ones is they're trying to get you not to puff them. Uh, so you're supposed to put them on without popping them. Oh, so you're thinking you put it on after you pop it. No, those. I do put it on oh, yeah. after I pop no, it. This That's is so perfect. for you not to pop your pimples, uh, which was why I would recommend. Like, don't touch it. Because uh, your body has, and your skin has the power to heal itself. Right. So don't pop it. And but, just put it on directly. Yeah, put it on directly. Oh my god, that's perfect for teens especially because exactly. I feel like, I mean even myself, we're not professionals. So exactly. sometimes when you pop your pimple in the wrong way, it can leave such a huge scar. Yeah, yeah. And you know, lead to more inflammations. Yeah. I think this is so, oh it's such a smart idea. I yeah. want to try it now. Oh, See, says, oh, needle needly patch means don't pop it. Just needle it. <laughs> yeah. So this is another really great pimple item that I like because oh. instead of a sticker, mm. you, it's actually a paste. <gasps> and wow. so it's a lot less visible. Oh. So, but it still, it forms a sticker. So oh, you can wow. Later, oh. But it's a gel form oh. and it's not a patch. Do you think it's as effective? It's still yeah, really yes, good. Yes, wow! Yes. It creates a patch because it's like a it's like a gelatin material <gasps> over. Ooh, can I see yes. that? Yes. I think this will be perfect because sometimes my acne zone is not as small as these little patches. Oh yeah, then it's perfect. Wow, this is so cool. It's great because you can put makeup over it. Oh, 그러네. And for some stickers, I mean, we try our best and it's really thin, but you can still see it in certain lights. Right, right now it's on sale. Look, oh. one plus one, 14,900. Oh, nice. One so it's one. called Real, Real Skin, Skin Patch. That's oh. Right. So some of the products uh, sold at the offline stores in Olive Young in Korea is not sold on the global site, but I will link everything in the description below for the products that sold on the global site as well. And please remember that there's, um, with every purchase over $60, it's free shipping. And no, this video is not sponsored, but <laughs> it could be. We're doing be. it for free. But it could be. <laughs> Sue and I were like, but it, it could, could be. be. Oh my gosh, so there's a product that we're, we're both like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And that is this right here. <gasps> they have two of them actually. Yeah, so this is the same thing, but yes. you get a plus one. Just, you can get this at Olive Young. And of course you would get this one, you know? Yes, yes. But oh my gosh, why do you like this one? Because this one, I brag about it all the time. I okay. made Sue try it again. Okay. I love this so much. Well, okay, so obviously we, we were talking about in our next video all oh. the stuff that we did wrong. But right. one of the things that we did wrong was actually blackheads. Yes. And so, we, you know, we, are, we, used, we grew up in the generation where we would use poor strips yeah. to like strip the blackheads out of our nose. Nose, yeah. and we should have never done that because it was really, really harmful. And we were taught that it was okay. Yeah, but oh. however, now oh. that we're much more educated and we realize you should never do that, but instead what they have is these like other kinds of nose patches. Yes. But it's not a strip off, like peel off patch. Yeah. What it is, is a melt on. Love it, yes, love it. Yes. So this is extremely effective actually in so the shower. Good. I love have it. Have you ever used it with steam? Because oh. like with the steam, it's oh. like just really double the effect. The effect. Wow. Yeah. For me, I leave it on for a little bit longer. Yeah. Because yeah, you know yeah. they recommend like 15 or 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. But I do it a little bit longer, yeah, and yeah. oh my god, it gets the job done. It gets the job done. Oh. So it's like a really gentle way to get rid of your blackheads. Exactly. It melts it. Exactly. And so what it is, you there's two patches in it. You oh. put it on, mm. and one's for really melting down the sebum, mm. and the other is actually to tighten the pores after. Mm. But Chuan. highly recommended. Love this product. I love, love this, this one too. One thing I do want to mention for sure is though, don't be too rough with it with the um, Q-tips because right. once you're too harsh with it, then you are doing exactly the same thing as like a nose strip. So just make sure that you're very gentle with it when you're doing it. But I love this one. Oh my, this is like Sophia and Uni proved, you know, yes. we love this one. Oh yeah. yes. And I'm actually going to buy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we are at the mask, mask section. section. So we have the wash off masks here. And then we have the hydrating masks. 
Yes, the sheet mask here. And then we're gonna go crazy on this section for a while. So I think we're gonna <laughs> go with this one first. Yeah. Do you have, the reason why we came up, like we were thinking about masks is because one of the ways to really care for your bodkas as well is mud masks as well. Oh, she just, oh, she's on the She just bought the um, I'm from Honey mask. This is one of my favorite masks the too. Mask oh, the hydrating mask. 그리고 I think what's cool about this is that it was really popular overseas, uh -huh. and then these days it's so popular in Korea. Yeah. But I I used it before, you know, it got popular in Korea, so it okay. feels good when people are like talking about I'm from now, my Korean friends. Yeah. Do you have specific mask. wash off masks that you like? Um. So let's talk about two different masks. So there are when people talk about masks, they talk about wash off masks and hydrating masks. So I just want to clear up for I know unicorns are really well educated, uh. but they're very different. Wash offs are meant to wash off. Sheet masks are not meant to wash exactly. off. Exactly. But people still do that. Uh. Yeah, so I want to make sure. Let's let you know. Sheet masks are hydrating, mm. and mud masks and um, a lot of these other kinds of wash off masks are meant to be for cleansing, not for right. hydrating. Right. Like detoxing effects. Yeah, kind so of purifying. To, to take out. Whereas right, right. The sheet masks are to be stored. Right, so right. Sure. Really popular masks are, of course, the I'm from ones here. These are my favorites. I talk about them a lot, so I'm just gonna pass today. But I love the I'm from, um, uh, what is this? Mugworth mask. I love the uh, honey mask. I use this for my down there too because a little bit of I need a little bit of scrub after oh. waxing. So that's good for that too. I really like these. They are a little bit more expensive but they do have really good ingredients and they have like large amount of the raw material and we were talking about ingredients right on me yeah so which one would you like to try or what do you want to recommend um for so i'm not actually really big on wash off masks mm. but i guess like i mean i'm definitely inclined to try the i'm from based on your Recommendation. recommendation. Oh. I do use a lot of the black sugar ones. Ah, you like the black sugar ones. Yeah, the... I've used it before. I've used this one. I mean, this one's an oldie, right? This one's been around forever. Oldie but a goodie. Yeah, this has been around <laughs> since like the 90s. Oh, and yeah. then it melts up because it also smells really good. I know some people right. don't like fragrance, but I love it and this one smells really good and it's always cheap and you know, it melts off so I feel like it doesn't clog my drain. Oh, you're right. That is pretty cheap. It's mm -hmm. eight. A uh, thousand one. Yeah. <gasps> hold, hold on. Let's go back to that. You like fragrance, I artificial love fragrance, fragrance yeah. or whatever fragrance well, it as is. As long as so, my rule of thumb is mm. it has a less percentage of fragrance. Ah, so it's like at the at end the or end. something. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, so, so I mean, I I feel like beauty is personal. Yeah. And I just like the experience of the smell and of the like you know sense. It just makes me feel pretty. I, but I have to make sure that it's actually less than more. So I, I love that fragrance. because yeah. a lot of people, everybody has different opinions and the product can work differently. So personal. Exactly. Yeah. So oh, I like that. Finally someone on my channel yeah. that kind of likes fragrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm kind of half and half. I don't I try to stay away from artificial fragrance. Mm -hmm. And then um, but I'm okay with lavender oil or I love like Me essential too. oils. My skin's okay with that. Yeah. But some people, like most a lot of people on my channel, they are sensitive to essential oils as well. Yeah, because I mean actually essential oils, even though they're natural, they ha they have more um, allergens than yeah. actually allergen free scents. Exactly. But the fragrances actually that are out on the market are what we call allergen free. So they actually cause less allergies. Mm -hmm. But people are sensitive to the unneeded ingredients. Right, right. But I I feel like it enriches my beauty experience. It just makes, I just like like the aromatherapy that comes with it. Yeah. And so as long as it's like on the last, on one of the last ingredients, I right. have to make sure it's less than 2%. Right. Actually, in fact, in Sephora, the clean beauty, um, there's a clean Could beauty see, standard. The standard. Yeah, it's under 2% as well. Got you. Yeah. We're in the mask section. Yes. And obviously, Yuni and I are sheet masks. Love uh, us. Love us. And we Onni, you it. also have your own brand. Yes, I have yes. my own mask brand. And even though I have my own mask brand, I'm still always studying what's new, what's out there. Yes. So um, people are like, actually you always ask me, what kind of masks would I use if I didn't have my own? Exactly. Right? So if I didn't have my own mask, the closest ones to I think our masks would be this one. Ooh. The bright skin one. Yes. So I've tried a really hot pink line. Uh huh. But this is the premium biocellulose sheet mask. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. And so obviously, you guys know, I don't know, for those of you that don't know, my masks are biocellulose. Yes. They're made of fermented coconut jelly. Mm hmm. And if I didn't have mine, this is what I would say is kind of close. Mm. Um, 
other masks that I buy on the market, I don't buy like paper sheet masks. Oh. Obviously, we made ours by Australia's for the absorption. Right. But if I were to buy something out here, I would either buy the bright skin or, or these collagen masks. Have you Ooh, ever tried these? I've collagen never masks? tried these, but these look yes. so cool. Yeah, these look collagen masks. Oh. So normally it's 13,000 13, for yeah. one mask, right? Right, right? This one has two in it actually. Wow. Uh, actually, I don't know if it has two in it. I think it has one in it. The picture's confusing. Yeah, <laughs> with two amples. Yeah, but I did mention this because it's becoming so popular in Korea and you see it a lot on Instagram as well. Yes, yes. Mm. And the reason is, this is the kind of mask, it's kind of like ours, it becomes thinner when you put it on. So it, you can see that it's soaking into your skin, right? Exactly. Like ours does that too and this one does that too. The reason that I like this one a lot and I would buy this one if I were out here because of collagen. Oh. It's got collagen in it. Right, right. And the thing about collagen is a lot of people actually like don't want, they want to use vegan products. Right. Then you want to stay away from collagen. Right. Again, I'm not one of those people. I need collagen. I'm 37, you guys. <laughs> All right? This girl needs and collagen. And looking good. And looking I good. I need the and elasticity, good. you know? <laughs> And so collagen actually is very, very useful. Oh. And so um, some of our masks, not all of our masks, also have collagen in it, but mm. I use marine collagen, not animal collagen. Okay. So just to make that known to you guys. Oh. So that's another mask I would buy. And I think another similar one is down here. And again, this one is like 12,000 for one mask. Wow. Oh. Right? And uh -huh. that's why, you know, but that's why I created our line of masks to go direct to consumer. Right. Because when you actually come into the store, there's a retail cut, there's a distributor cut, um, and it becomes more and more expensive. Expense. It has to be, right? Yes. Yeah. And mm. so that's why Mask Moments is a direct to consumer service, which means we just take it right out of the factory and there's no extra costs embedded. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to also link that in the description below. So please do check it out. Yes. And we want to make sure that you stick to a schedule and that you are consistent with sheet masking and your skincare in general. So we have a subscription plan for our guests. Oh, and I like that because one thing that I did want to mention about sheet masks is that, you know, it's like the ample itself, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people switch it up like crazy. Yes, yes. But especially, I mean, if you have healthy skin, I think it'll be okay. But you know, if you have sensitive skin like myself, yes. sometimes it's good to stick with one product to exactly. see the full effect, you know? Exactly. We talked about this in our last video. Yeah. Time, Please go check it out here. Well, I'll add all the collab videos that we did together. Yes. Oh. And, but like I said there, it's actually really important to stick to one brand and one line for at least one month. Yeah. Yeah. which is your full skin cycle. Mm. So you want to be able to do that. You want to mm. give the, your, your skin a chance mm. to kind of take in the ingredients and reflect it over time. Yeah. Because it's not instant, even though we're so inclined to take instant results. Definitely. Products. This one I finally tried. I love this one. It's Tajayon and mm. it was actually, I'm like trying to. Oh, There's cheap. a fly. There's yeah, a fly. It's it's cheap, right? 1000 yeah. And it's always on sale at one, uh, 1,000 won. Yeah. And the sheet itself doesn't feel so good. So compared to cellulose ones, right, or right, compared right, to those right. like nice soft ones, right. it can even actually feel a bit irritating if you leave it on for too long. Well, if it's 1,000 thousand, thousand won, yeah. you know that the sheet is not that expensive. It can't be, right? Yeah, it can't be. But if oh. the ample is good, you know. The ample is good. That's uh, why I buy it, it won uh, two years straight number uh, one sheet mask in Korea. And I know what they're talking about. This is really similar to the I'm from Mugworth sheet mask. I That's see. one of my favorites too. You know what too? it is? It's mm -hmm. the calming. Yes. It's the relieving. Yes. So yeah. in Korea, a lot of people really love calming, you know, relieving. Uh, relieving. Yeah. And actually, that's actually really important. That's one of the things we're going to talk about in our next video. In exactly. Our video. Mm. But wait, am I sitting here with the kimchi squat? And <laughs> am I on tape with kimchi squat? No, no, no. Just for you guys. Oh, okay. Now you are. Now I'm sitting with kimchi squat. Now you guys know that I'm squatting here for you guys. <laughs> kimchi squat. I didn't hear that for a long ass time. I know, right? Me too. But I just realized I was doing it. <laughs> Um, oh, but really, spot. yeah, I mean, what it is is inflammation. Mm. What the one thing that we don't think about in our 10s or 20s or 30s or 40s is anti-inflammation. Yeah. And that's really big. And actually, the biocellulose masks are really good for that. It and is. And the reason why it all is. the calming line is so important uh -huh. is also because of anti-inflammation. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, an inflammation is like your acne and your pimples. Those are all inflammation. Mm. Anytime you get irritated, in fact, if you go to the dermatologist and you have a problem, a lot of times they give you steroid shots. Yeah, and yeah. And that's the biggest anti-inflammation. 
to um, calm it down. Yeah, yeah, to calm it down. And so anti-inflammation care is something that's not as talked about as it should be. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's one of the factors that I learned from Sophia and as well. Mm -hmm. And the the sheet masks were really amazing for that. That's one of the factors I told you, right? That mm -hmm. I saw a really huge difference. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I love is also this one, Dr. Mask Sika from Robectin. Mm -hmm. And oh, I can't believe this is, is not sold out. This is always sold out these days. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Mask Aqua as well. These are very calming. Mm -hmm. And this does have certain ingredients in here that can help with acne, but it's not really strong it does have calamine and um, madecastoside and stuff like that so these are good and then I heard um, this one is really good too my subscribers were letting me know that they love this line Miguara. yeah I want to try this one and the I all you know like with sheet masks you you, you want to get it when it's on sale you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Yes, Always sure. in Korea because everything's on sale yeah, so yeah. often. You want to get on sale. For yeah, sure. so these um, are the ones that I really wanted to try. So this is called, I like the packaging as well, right? It's yeah, so cute. So there's two things in it, huh? Oh, there's step a, one and step two. Yeah, there's ample. And then you have the sheet mask right here. And it is for brightening effect. And this one is the waterline. So you have but the. But I have to tell you, oh. as, a, as, a, as a brand owner, right, I right. can already tell by the price that. The quality of the sheet is probably low. I don't know about the ample, but the sheet is low. And actually, like, what you're getting for the money is probably... It's probably good, but it is what you pay for. Oh, see, that's what yeah. that's what you get from an expert. And you know, well, she... it's because of the packaging, right? <laughs> it's very custom. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. When yeah. you do that, you know that they're paying more for the packaging oh, than the ample inside and oh. the actual ingredients. So that's again, it's worth noting. Right, right. right. So speaking of sheets even though it's not biocell like it's not biocellulose these feel really nice these are really popular in korea I think you told me about these right? oh and yeah. then sue introduced me to these uh -huh. it really does feel like second skin oh, it's, like it's a thin sheet very thin I so the, the con is that it does dry up really fast so you yeah. do have to take it off right off the bat yes but the way it feels on your skin this is so nice yes. and i personally love this one like if i could really in the future make a sheet mask on uh -huh. me i would love to do biocellulose too but i do want to something like this too this one they have like a special um sheet that's like called a Cho yeah, Kuk green yeah, sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a I of love sheet. it. Yeah. And they have it every, like a lot of the products from Dewey Tree. Yeah. And this is one of my favorites too. This is so calming. Yeah, so I'm glad that you're actually now thinking about that because mm. you do want to when you pick a when you choose a sheet mask, you do want to think about it in two steps. Oh. You want to think about what sheet feels good on my skin. Mm -hmm. And like Uni said earlier, some certain sheets will be almost irritating. Yeah. And the cheaper it is, the more probably irritating likely. Right, right, be. right. So you want to think about the sheet itself, and then you want to think about the actual function that you're choosing. Right, so, right, exactly. Yeah. So I haven't tried this one, but it's on sale, so I want to talk about it. It's 3001 right now, originally 5001. Um, what I noticed is the older ladies, yeah. like people who are in their 50s and above, like right. my aunt, right. she's actually almost like 70. Right, right. She looks great. Oh. And she, She's always buying, when she has a choice, buying the more expensive and less expensive kind. Uh -huh. And she's picked this up and she's told me she liked it. I've yeah, never tried it. Yeah, so this one I've tried before. Mm -hmm. 23 years, years old, their mm -hmm. brand focuses on like home care products. Uh, I see. And it's not cheap. It's They do have the modeling masks here that I yeah, actually yeah. added in my kit before. And they do have really good products that you can see like a a really visible effect like after even one use and stuff yeah. so i think what the, it is is it's a little bit more expensive though and the sheet feels like <gasps> like a thick towel almost really uh, nice soft towel and it does feel really nice on your skin yeah but yeah it is on the little bit on the pricier side if you yeah. compare it with other she masks right. although right mm. now it's on sale so you exactly guys. so yeah crazy. <laughs> we are here at the cleansing section and one other thing that we also have in common is that we're really like we recommend a thorough cleansing right yeah. and we think it's a very important step and we yeah. also are Enzyme lovers. We Nadu love 너무 좋아요, 언니. Yeah. Oh, enzyme lovers. So that's is that the only way you exfoliate? But I know you do use like salicylic acid for yes. like blackheads and stuff as well. Yes. So let's go into that a little bit about cleansing. Yeah, so mm. we talk about first and second cleansing a lot in K Beauty, and yeah. that's because there's two steps. Really, the first step is removing makeup. Right. Right. 
So the idea is oil removes oil, water removes water, dirt and like all the mm. other stuff, debris and whatever. Uh. And so you want to use uh, a cleanser that gets your maker off, right? Makeup, and then do a regular cleansing. And then there's exfoliating, which is part of cleansing. Like good people tea, sometimes tea. don't realize because they want they use a lot of leave-on serum. Right. But I actually like to include um, exfoliating mm. as part of cleansing. Exactly. Which is why I look for enzyme cleansers. Yeah. Which are hard to find actually. I think I saw one today. Let's see. Oh. So some of my favorites are the Biwish Trend Enzyme Powder Wash. And I really like the Isn't Tree one. This one's really good too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah, this yeah. is something that I'm gonna be definitely stocking up on. Yeah. And they have a new powder wash, like the hyaluronic one that yeah. I haven't tried yet, but yeah. I am so into this. And Mugwort is such a great ingredient, as we mentioned before, for calming. And this one, it comes in little packets. So I think environmental-wise, it's not the best choice. But it's so handy. Like, yeah. to take it with you when you go Travel. over to... Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I just pop it in my bag when I go work out and stuff. Yes. And I love, I love this one. Yeah, so what you'll see is you'll see that a lot of these enzyme washes are powder-based, right? Oh, you can name. Yeah, oh. these are all powder-based. Right. Um, but the problem with powder-based ones, right? Even though Eunice and I are, we love enzyme washes. Yeah. And I, but I'm an esthetician, mm. so I actually know how to use it really Really well, but in, but people actually at home, it might not be as easy. Right. First of all, you need to create a very steam. steam ah, right, yeah. right, right. So you the, should do it out of the shower. For it's sure. important. Oh, yeah. it activates it, right? Yeah. So mm. steam is really important, and that's hard for people. Right? Yeah. And then to get the the correct leather. Yeah. Is also really really hard. You gotta get the snap, like. Yes. <laughs> and you gotta get the right enough lather to go on, and then yeah. you need to give it time and steam to settle. And so if you don't use it correctly, enzymes can be really ineffective exactly yeah and it's very fickle that way so i love while i love enzymes for you know the more um experienced mm, users mm, mm. i think if you're not very good at that like you know then you're not you're just wasting your money right so make sure when you choose there's nothing wrong with chemical exactly exactly either, right? yeah so speaking of we're gonna go with i know only you like um pads too or salicylic acid yeah, right like salicylic acid washes um, not too I, much of it but just just can't really get too much small of enough of it like here's, yeah here's one for oh. like salicylic acid cozar x yeah calming foam cleanser i haven't used this one yet or is it with new packaging I, I don't know. I haven't used oh, this one I either. I just picked mm. it up because it said salicylic acid. Mm. And in Korea, they don't. Um, the only ones with like two percent or higher are, yeah. are actually sold at pharmacies. Yeah. And not in like in stores like this. There's not um, too many, huh? Yeah, there's not too many. They're not because it, it can irritate skin. And they're right, scared right, of that, right. Right. The first cleansing. I'm big on oil cleansing. Ooh. I really love this one. This what is an this? Old one. CK deep cleansing oil. Is that a Korean brand? Yeah, La Couverte. I've never heard That's of it. That's an old brand. Ah, but yeah. nice. But how come they don't have a price for it? I have no idea. Actually, they may have misplaced it. There's Ooh. another one on this side. Wow. Uh huh. There's this one too. This one seems to be a very popular vegan one. Ooh! Yeah, another um, cleansing oil. Okay, cleansing oil. Here, it's called A True. A True yeah. Pure Balancing Cleansing Oil. Yeah. Um, on, cleansing oils are really good for blackheads too, which right. is why you see all these like yeah. blackheads. So I've tried all three of these uh -huh. and they're really good because, first of all, they're huge. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be stingy with this. Yeah. And it's always nice because yes. when you get not enough cleansing oils as your first cleanser, yeah. it can irritate your skin. So you want to be kind of not stingy with it. Yeah. Like you want to make sure you start kind of massaging it in a gentle way. From I, what I remember, oh. yeah, from what I remember, mm. I think they were uh, the cheaper version of, they did a copy of the um, Shumera cleansers. True. Ah, the Shumera cleansers oh, are the really big ones, ones. That you see a lot in the um, Duty Free. And right? you like that one. I love That's it. one of I'm your favorites. big user on Shumera cleansers. What's your favorite one? Um, I mean, I like old, all. so I like the antioxidant one because <laughs> okay. I try to get as much antioxidants as possible in yeah. every product. And we're so gonna dive like into that. that. We're gonna talk about a, a really good anti aging like um, serums very soon. But yeah, right. so yeah. I think for me, There's I tried PHA. all three, but I liked the uh, PHA. PHA one. It was more, I think, gentle for my skin. So even here, it says that this is for sensitive skin types, for calming. Uh, this is for dry skin types, IHAs, and then you have Kegirum. So it's like a yeah. sensitive symbol. So BHA is kind mm. of the salicylic acid. Right, right, right. It's a type of, right? Right. Oh, so oh. if you have a pimple issues, blackhead issues, I would recommend this one. Exactly. Um, mm. And if you're sensitive, yes, the PHA is good. And AHA is always good for exfoliating. So what's great about this product is that you get exfoliating and you get removal of makeup at once. At once. Yeah, which is at nice. At once. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I think Hanskin, I used to really I love their skin, BB yeah. creams. Yeah. Some of their products is really good, and yeah. some I'm, I don't like all, but yeah. some of them are really good. And the cleansing oils, it's pretty okay. Yeah. And the price is 16,500 won on sale. Everything's on sale right now right. for 300, 300 milliliters. milliliters. That's it's just good. really good. Yeah. And also here, you can see a little section for blackheads. I remember I tried these before. This is really popular in Korea too. 23 years old black paint rubber. It's like this um, stick that you push up and it has a solid like black color thing but you kind of melt it in your nose so it does remove the blackheads really well so yeah this one's really popular these days in Korea I saw a lot of youtubers talk about this one and it does come with like a little brush here and the product comes out from the little brush but I haven't tried this one and oh this one actually is from Alive Lab I wanted to try this one. I think I've tried it a long time ago, but I didn't see a really good effect from it, but I don't think I've tried it long enough. But I used to love Alive Lab, the um, powders, like the Centella powders, the vitamin C powders. I miss that actually. So if you're one of those people who are overusing products and you're not, you know, it's either from the soaps or the cleansers or it's from the serums or from the exfoliators, you might be taking your skin um, off balance in terms of the pH balance and so this gentle cleanser really helps you make sure that you have the correct pH balance on your skin to stay at its healthiest condition. Whoa, this is humongous. Yeah, so this is actually known as the jumbo jar. Wow. Um, and it's got all the vitamins in it. It's called whitening mega vitamin cream, mm. but it's got vitamin B3, which is niacinamide, mm. pentanol, B5, right? Oh. And it's got hypophagranoid extract. extract. Really right. good for um, natural vitamin C, right? Oh. Right, right. So it's called vitamin cream because of that. And I just love this because it's so huge. <laughs> and so I actually, you know, as someone that's getting older, Oh. And it says brightening and anti-wrinkle dual function, right? Oh. Um, vitamins are so important and so I feel like I don't get it enough on my body. Yeah. So I actually use this as my body cream. That's one of the things yeah. that I remember I sent you in the morning. I was like, I want, only, I want to talk about body anti-aging. Yeah, because yeah. I think oftentimes we don't really uh, focus a lot on that. Exactly. And later on, you really feel yeah the the elasticity like you start losing elasticity yeah. on your body man yeah, especially so i've actually only tried this hyaluronic acid one like mm. this hyaluronic cream one oh. but this is like 500 grams wow. right it's huge it's humongo yeah and this one is a vitamin so i was looking at this one because i was thinking you know i haven't tried this one oh. but it smells really good too it smells right. like citrusy and the price is I've never heard of this brand before. Did you try the yeah. brands before? No, it's so it's actually one of the, yeah, it's called Nature Nature Kind, but oh, yeah, it's Nature is, it's, Kind. It's all over Instagram these days. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I think if it's on sale, it will be much cheaper, huh? Yeah. But it's huge. It's 500 grams, right? Yeah. So wow. it's worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can put it all over your body and right. you know, um I like to like lather stuff on oh. when dur during winter oh. and so cold months are approaching us. Yeah, and definitely. So I just want to make sure that like I'm well stuffed with these. I actually have used it on my face before too and it's totally fine. fine. Ah, so you can use it for both yes. your face and body. Yes. So one of the products that I really like is, I mean, I talk about Robert a lot on my channel, but I like both of these. I use this today in the morning. Uh -huh. This is only for face, uh -huh. but this is for body and face. And I feel like this one is has... Is an oil? Yeah, it's an oh. oil. It's uh -huh. a multi-oil and you can use it all over your body. You can use it for your face and it has a lighter texture. So mm -hmm. I think... Many times, I think some people are really scared of oils that it's going to break them out. It's going to cause like more breakouts and things like that. But I'm someone that I think I recently discovered like about a year ago that I love oils. Mm. Then my skin needs it. Mm. I just didn't know. I had the yeah. wrong information. No, it's oh. all about water oil balance. What oh, people oh, don't oh. understand is, oh, I'm too, you know, I'm too oily skin. I don't need oil. It's right. not true. It's all about water oil balance. Yeah. And this yeah. one's great because it comes with a screen, uh, sunscreen. Yeah. And this, we love this one, right? Yeah. This is the one, so. Yeah. And then we tried the, we both tried the tone up one. I remember yeah. Onni was like, hey, the next day you're like, hey, guess what I bought? This was on sale. It was your recommendation. So. Yeah. Based on Yuli's recommendation. <laughs> but, uh, I still use it. <laughs> uh, anything else here that you see that you like or that you want to talk about maybe? Well, Lux is really famous. This right. has been around forever. It's a really rich oil. This whole line, this, this one right here. I know that it's much cheaper in Europe. So yeah. Koreans, when they go to Europe, they just like, like stock, stock it up. Yeah, yeah. But in Korea, it's, it's really popular too, right? Yeah. And then, um, you can use it on your like hair, you can use it on your body, uh, face. 
I'm big on oil too, so mm. yeah, this is a really good go-to oil. What, what's your like number one oil? Like, uh, or like number two? Oil? I have a number one. It's, 뭐야, 뭐야? it's the Bobbi Brown face oil. Ooh. Have you ever used it? It smells like heavenly. Oh my all. gosh. Yeah, oh. it's like, I don't know if you like the ASOC smells, oh. but really like, I liked it so much. I benchmarked it when I was uh, looking for like essential oils for wow. my mask. Wow, wow, wow. It just feels amazing mm. and it's just like, Having a couple dabs on right after your makeup in the winter, it oh. just like does wonders. Not oh. just like cosmetically, because it makes you look kind of like glowy, glowy. Too, oh. but it just smells so good and it feels so good. It's my favorite. Dude, I want to try that. Yeah, oh. you have I, to try it. I personally, I really like Tamano oils and uh -huh. I didn't have much knowledge of it except mm. for I tried um, Crave Beauty, the Tamano Serum. Yeah. After that, my skin really started transforming like because uh -huh. I have sensitive skin, but it, it was so good. Yeah. And the, the smell is like blah, but it's like so strong and oh, it's so yeah. like ooh, you know? Yeah. But after I fell in love because the effect was so good, I was really? like, who cares about the smell, you know? Like for me, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't care about the smell as long uh, as it's good on my skin. Yeah. And then I started buying Tamano oils because really? I loved it so much. I wanted to discover. So I yeah. really love Tamano uh -huh. and I like rose hip too. Yes, rose hip is really yeah, nice too. This one was so good. It's a bit expensive, I mean, compared to other oils, but it's not that expensive if you yeah, think about so it. Yeah, so for oils, mm -hmm. You don't want to go cheap on oil. Right. So oh. we talked about pricing before, but so for something, if you don't, if you have a low budget, mm. I would skimp out on cleansers mm. or like toners. Mm. It's okay to spend less on those kinds yeah. of products. Yeah. But do not skimp out on Serum? like serums yeah. or oils. Yeah. Because oils, the way they are extracted, is very very important, and the quality is like so different exactly. for, from lower oils, like lower priced oils to higher priced oils. You want to make sure it's packaged correctly. You want to make sure it's not in the sun. You want to make sure it's not old. You want to be like you want to make sure you get the correct extraction. Oh. If you use it incorrectly, it actually does more harm than good. When you look at the categories of products, skincare products especially, cleansers are so much cheaper, you yes, know. Yes. And then you can right yeah, and this soap. It's actually yeah. it's a different kinds of soap. But I mean, Pitchy. obviously, don't use bar soap. Right, 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 right. Please, please, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's different, but it's oh. because you're, they're not getting all the antioxidants. Good and so, actually, the, what you, we would notice is the more oil there is in a product, the more costly it generally is. Mm. The more antioxidants there are in a product, the more costly it is. Exactly. And so, don't think of it as, oh, they're marking it up. It's actually you're getting what you're paying for exactly. in terms of quality. The only way you can really, like, save is like i said earlier if you buy direct to consumer products mm. then at least you're not paying the retail fee the distributor fee mm. and you get to kind of you know save on that margin right but i mean if you only have stores to go to just keep that in mind um it's not always that like you know it's not always like people are always trying to you know brand mark up their brands exactly what they're, what they're, yeah so you really get what you are you're paying you, you, for you're paying for oh. in terms of and then only is an expert also sophia is also expert in um like manufacturing as well because uh, she's making other products for other influencers right now and other um brands as well mm -hmm. so yeah one day only Maybe day, in the yeah, future. You should do it. You have One to do day it. when yeah, I'm yeah. ready, maybe. So I have After the, 50 yeah. years. When yeah. I'm an. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can do it. You can do it. So I'm really trying to get you to make uh, your own stuff, guys. No, what? <laughs> you know, when I'm ready, though, you know, I have so much to learn. But, anyways, my unicorns. Let's go with serums now, yeah? So in Korea, this one is really popular too. The the Gural, um Green Tea, Green Tangerine, uh, Vita C Dark Spot Serum. Mm -hmm. I think it's because you do get that um, antioxidant and it's it's vitamin C, but it's very gentle. Mm -hmm. So I think Korean people really like that. And I think a lot of teens love this one as well. Yeah. Can, mm. I, can we try it? Yeah, of Let's course. See. It has a very like um, light viscous texture. Mm. Oh, and yeah. it just soaks in. I would say, I, I don't know, for me personally, I wouldn't be able to use it for the coming up, coming up chilly, cold weathers. So I, I need something a little bit more rich, Yeah. but this does feel pretty light. Yeah, so if you're just starting out with antioxidants and vitamins, mm. again, like vitamins are so important. Vitamin C is very, very important. And so you want to start with, if you've never actually done vitamin C, you do want to start small. Right, right. For like, I actually use a much more concentrated one, but I couldn't use it at first because um, I would react. I would break out all the time from vitamin C. So what <gasps> oh, I had to do was... Because maybe it was too strong for it you. It was too strong oh. for me. 
So I had to actually start in small dosages mm. and then increase over time. Exactly. Frequency, yeah. amount, everything. Yes, Ondi, yes. what is your first vitamin C serum that you fell in love with? Uh, well, so remember? what I'm using right now is the Kiehl's Concentrate one. Oh, you like that one? Yeah, it's actually oh. really, um, it's really strong. Oh. But again, I had to build to it. Oh, right, right, like right, right. right. Yeah. And then once again, I'm 35 and mm -hmm. then only do. 37, uh, so it's But looking good? Yeah, but, but definitely fabulous. age to use antioxidants. Exactly. Like you don't want to skimp out on vitamin C at all. Yeah. So if you're a starter, this is a great brand for starters. Exactly. For me, it was the clearest vitamin C drop, the, the oh. vitamin drop, and that has 5% ascorbic acid. Oh, that's high too, though. Yeah, yeah. and the, it has a very oily texture. So, oh. till this day, it's not my favorite. Compare, I think talking about texture wise, yeah. but still, it's such a great product. Yeah, yeah, that's my first love. Yeah. And then this one is really popular. It has been number one serum in Olive Young for like many years, mm -hmm. and I've tried this too. This one, I feel like um, you can't see like a result right off the bat, but you can see improvement for your skin tone. Right. Definitely. Another popular item, actually, I've been wanting to try because yes. people have been talking about carrot a lot. Yes. Yeah. I, I like carrot oils. Like I do. But I haven't tried this one, but everyone is really loving Bring Green because of the price as well. And this, yeah. this uh, Bring Green carrot one is becoming popular too. Yeah, and so I'm wondering, like, because carrots have vitamin A, yeah. which is a form oh, of retinol. retinol. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so I'm wondering that's, if that's what it's, this is targeting. I'm and gonna say yes, but... And it's really great for um, blemish care and brightening effect. Mm -hmm. And what's the price? Let's see the price. How much is it? This is serum. Right now it's on sale. 15800 Uh, 15 So yeah, this is something that I did definitely want to try. I actually tried the one from April Skin. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really good. Especially for my whiteheads as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see, okay, so on this thing, they are using the third listed ingredient is niacinamide. Mm which is actually a very, very popular ingredient that you should be using. It is an antioxidant. It's actually vitamin B3. Mm. And it's in our masks. It's in so many products, but it's in there for a reason. And mm. so I think one of the most um, active ingredients in this is niacinamide. Right. So in this section, we have a lot of products that we like. So we kimchi squat it again. Yeah. So this one, I love the pork. Yes, oh, I've used it before. Yeah, so I kind of, I'm like not a huge fan of every single one of their products, but I love their Medicube Pore Zero Pack. So good. Mm -hmm. And then this one too. Really? Oh, cream. It's so good. It has um, patent ingredients in here that specializes to care for your pores. Uh -huh. And it really helps to like um, control your breakouts, but at the same time, it hydrates your skin. So if you have kind of like co complicated skin, like condition like me, like uh -huh. oily T zone, uh -huh. dry U zone, uh, butterflies don't always break out with blackheads. This is such a good pr product. I love this one. I've heard good things about it. I've used it before. My mm. cousin's actually, she breaks a lot too. She has yeah. similar skin as yours. Oh. She's recommended this. I also really like the sleeping mask. This is another oldie but goodie. It's a goodie. Yeah. yeah. I love the sleeping mask. I'm big on masks and actually surprisingly, um, yes, I have a sheet mask company, but oh. I use a sleeping mask on a plane. Yeah. Because actually, like sheet masks are not supposed to meant are not meant to be used on the plane. Mm. It's actually you should be you should supposed to be using it before the flight and after the flight, ah. not on the flight. Ooh. Yeah, because you're actually because it's gonna take away moisture while you're on the flight. Oh. So because it's gonna evaporate yeah. like even with the sheets, huh? Yes. Oh. So you're actually, you should be doing it before because mm. you need to get your skin prepared mm. and after from the dry wow. like, in the plane. Uh -huh. But on the plane, you should be using probably a sleeping, sleeping mask, mask like this mm. and oils, oils to not take it. away. Yeah. Yes, that's what's going on on the plane. So this one is, I remember Laneige and yes. Pishi, Vici. The, oh, yeah, the European yeah, yeah. brand yeah, 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 was yeah. like the OG sleepy mask. Yeah, Those yeah, were yeah. the two like that I tried like I don't know like 10, 10 years ago or something. Yeah, they yeah. were the first ones kind of. Yeah. I loved that and then I've been using this one too. This is more like a cream texture. Can I show them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I haven't tried the Sika version. This Have is like a version? yeah yeah. I, I used this. Oh sorry, I just scratched you. This is I used this recently and I've been using it as well. Yeah. It's more like a cream texture compared to the other like one. the other Sika or uh, compared to other sleeping masks. Yeah, because this one was a little bit more clear. Like yeah. gel type of kind of. Yeah. Usually it's like this. Yes. Mm. Oh, and then another product that uh, I need to try and that a lot of people do rave about is the Japanese brand Hadalabo, right? I love Hadalabo. You guys, like, 
What? Seriously, when I this is my go-to in terms of like right after my mask, mm -hmm. like right after my mask, I, I always tell people you have to seal it in with a moisturizer because mm. ours is much more hydrating, so mm. it's water, right? Mm. And you want to seal it in with something that's nice and thick. But this combination between like the mask and this gives me an amazing glow. Ooh. And this is full of hyaluronic acid, oh. and it's probably one of the earlier hyaluronic acid like items. Oh, this one's water. Hold on, this is, this is a milk. Can I ask you what do you yeah. think is I mean I mean skincare of course each you know br country whatever it's it can be very mm -hmm. similar or very different mm -hmm. what do you think is different about Japanese beauty and K beauty or do you think there is not really different or is no, there I mean they've been so much more it's like it's like asking like French beauty is really uh, really like it's been around it's been so German, popular mm. right and Japanese technology, technology is actually really great too. right, right. And they're much more advanced so I actually think that Japanese products are very advanced mm. and so oh, okay it's like a milk like this they're good oh. It's Ooh. like a milk like this. It's like a lotiony type of. It's a liquidy, Ooh. milky kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. And I just can't rave enough about it. I love it. Is this one? Is this the one that you like? Because everything's yes. in usually Japanese. I'm yeah. like, I don't know what's what. Yeah, but. this is the one I like. The milk, Ooh. the milky one. This one. Yes. So I definitely recommend it as a great moisturizer. It's great for boys and men too because Ooh. it's light and it's not as like oily or heavy. Ah, and they'll so love they that. love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And the summer, it's fantastic too. And as light as it is, it still does a great job moisturizing. Mm. Okay, so in terms of body scrubs, I am really, really, I love this brand Ooh. too. I actually haven't used these kinds, but I've been using their brand for years and years and years. Is this a Korean brand? Yes, it is. What is it called? Plu. 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 Their Plu. scent, again, like if you're not big on scents, you may not like these, but oh. their scent is amazing. amazing. So it makes my shower Ooh. experience really like lovely. What is this? The body scrub pink floral one. And you you like their scrubs? It's yes, not, oh. it's a body scrub. It is a body scrub, and mm. basically, um, it feels like it's really really thin, small beads. Mm. And so when you put it on, like you really feel like you're getting the exfoliation. Wow! And if you scrub it enough, your legs will be shiny. Like, it'll be shiny. <gasps> really? Yeah. Well, I need that right you now. My mine's it. cracky. Like okay, you mine's to like crusty then, right now. So you can actually see it. So it's been, it became a really big brand because they did really well on home shopping. Oh, in Korea. Yeah, in Korea, and so. Oh. You can see like how glistening it is the before and after yeah, yeah. And the only reason is really because it does a great job wow oh, what this is doing. Oh. And it smells so great so it's a really popular brand i recommend it if you wow. can try it yeah i want to try that one yeah it's good before we go to sunscreen, let's go to hands care. I think they have it. Oh, here. Oh, here. Here. oh, oh, everywhere. So they have the Hanyul ones. I tried these at um, Adi Down because you know it's a brand from LG. And oh my gosh, so Hanyul ones. They are, uh, they're pretty good price because usually Hanyul uh, products are not too expensive, but it's not too affordable either. But right now it's at um, on sale. Some of them at seven thousand two hundred won, and they have different ones. Like they have one for mugwort, hin kamguk. I have no idea what this is, but I think this is oh, what white chrysanthemum. Oh, chrysanthemum. 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 And yeah, I think this ingredient they use it a lot in hanyeol. And then they oh, this one smells divine. Yeah. It has the yuzu scent. Oh my, yeah. it smells so citrusy, but. It's just to another level. I don't know. I really like this one. And they I have, think, yeah. Mm. When it comes to hand cream, scents are so important. Because right. it's, like, it's like instead of a perfume almost. Yeah. And so like depending on what other perfumes you wear, I really, really do like hand creams that smell good. I think it's, that's one of like the little pleasures that you do yeah, have. Like, exactly. oh, when you do apply a really good hand cream. It's a cute packaging. Ooh. Kiyopta. <laughs> Mellow touch. Mellow Touch, there they have a makeup line. I think they do have these like cute little um, characters on it all the time. This says that it's a cuticle, cuticle care, a brightening effect. I think they do have that um, a lot in hand creams as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that Banyo, Banyo um, a big line factory. Right yeah, yeah, a lot of people. Really popular these days. Really popular. This is uh, nine thousand six hundred one. Oh, it's not really thick. Mm. So one thing that I really like about hand creams is that I want to make sure that after I'm done with it, mm. I don't have like stuff left on. Like, yes. Because you know, then you don't want to yes. watch your, like you don't want to touch your phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't go back to your regular life and things like that. That's why I always put it on the back of my hand first. Yeah, I do. Do you yeah. do this first? Yes, yes. Ah, interesting. So that's a good tip too. That yeah, you, you go yeah. like this. Huh? Hey, let me smell it. Oh. Mm. It has a very minty... Menthol smell. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And 
I personally really like the Hanyul one because mm -hmm. afterwards, mm -hmm. it, it, right now, honestly, I don't want to touch my phone because uh, it's it does greasy. feel kind of greasy. So I do need a little time to yeah. absorb it. This one feels like I could touch it right after. Mm. So I think that's why, that's one of the reasons why I like Hanyul ones. Yeah, I mean, for these, it's really become, it's really comes down to like scents or yeah. actually nail nourishing, nourishing your nails is really, really right. important. And the experience, like do yeah. you enjoy it each time? Are you going to put it on, reapply every time? Exactly. Yeah, that's why I've been using bubble toners. Oh. They're so easy to use, they dry up faster. So mm. compared to, of course, creams are better, hand yeah. creams, but compared to not using anything versus using a toner, oh my God. I'm so cool today. <laughs> Compared to not using a cream versus just using, you know, toner, I think that's much better to moisturize. Put some type of something on. Yeah, it. yeah, of yeah. Of course, it's better to use a like something with oil content. But yeah, I've been loving the toner bubbles. Yeah, on my hands and then sunscreen, you know. So now we are here at the sun care section because, you know, anti aging is really important. But number one thing that you should yeah. care about. It's sun care it's preventing sun and so in your 20s no matter how old you are mm. you really want to make sure you're wearing sunscreen yeah and korea has great sunblock yeah great sunscreen because it's really like liquidy right yeah and it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't smell like you're you've been in the pool so this is a really popular brand you see Toradin. yeah and then the jive in serum is really popular too mm. so i wanted to try this Mm, it has like a baby blue color, huh? Yeah, look at it. Oh, it has like almost. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it's like baby blue. I think there is a bit of a little bit of white cast. Mm. Oh, it does. Oh, but it's, it's it's okay. But it does have white cast. But I think it soaks in really nicely, and it doesn't like get stuck in the little like wrinkles or creases. Is it a chemical um, SPF? I'm sure it's uh, physical, no? No, because really? Oh, we, yeah, it is. You're right. Mineral. Mineral. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and it has, Perfect. yeah, low molecule hyaluronic acid as well. It does feel really hydrating. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, the one with mineral sunblocks mm. in general tend to create that mm. white cast, mm. um, but this one is considerably less. Not, not really bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And as you know, we love Korean sunblock because mm. the it's not as thick as like foreign it, sunblocks yeah. or sunscreens, yeah. so it feels more lotiony. Right, right. And it's right. also um, it's also like it doesn't smell like sunscreen. Sun, like yeah, it doesn't scream sunscreen like you're at the beach all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. And so and also like a lot of the Asian ones, they have this rating PA plus mm. plus plus plus. And it's a rating that's used mostly, I think it was developed in Japan, mm. uh, but it's used in Asia a lot. But this means it's preventing UVA as well as UVB. E, right. And so you want to be able to do both of that. So yeah. I, we look at, we look at both right. markers. So I, when, I remember when I first started studying sunscreen, I, I remember I said it's UVA equals aging. UVB equals burns. Yeah. So UVA rays, it's, it causes aging. UVB causes some burns. So right. you do need both. You need yes, to. You need yes. something that will protect both. Yes. And traditionally, mm. the American sunscreens focused on UVB a lot. Right, right. But a lot of the Asian ones focus on UVA a. and UVB because, mm. as you know, Asians are obsessed with staying away from the sun. So another wonderful thing about Korean sunscreens or Asian sunscreens is that there are different ways to put it on, right? Like it's for example, so fun. Yeah, there are like tubes like this, yes, right? So one it of looks my favorites. like a deodorant, Sticks. but it's a, oh. it's a stick, so you're applying like this, yeah. like that. So easy to use. Right, and that way you're not touching your face. It's exactly. easy to reapply. Yeah. Ooh, got my hair stuck on it. <laughs> they have a new one. Yeah, I tried the super one. goop one, but yes. this one, it, it, I don't know, it doesn't feel as like... I haven't tried it either. Good, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's a powder. A, it's the only powder one that I've seen in Korea. Yeah. So I think it's, it's, it's a nice. powder and it's a brush, you yeah. know? Uh, it just comes up as oh, you're like. Oh. oh. So it's like minerally. You see oh, that? Oh. It's, oh, shoot. There's a whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, it's a lot of powder. <laughs> um, but, you mm. know, that's great because that means. So easy to reapply, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly the same as a super goop one. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, and then, but yeah, I haven't tried this one only on my hands. But Hanskin did come out with the new one. It's really easy to reapply, exactly. right? Exactly. So 
and um, it probably wouldn't be my go-to because it's 45 and 3 pluses mm. but it's a really great way to reapply often which is very important it's better than not reapply that's right yeah. so if you have no choice then definitely do it and also Korean people use a lot of these cushions oh. This one doesn't have a, a cushion in it, but basically you press the little. Yeah, cushion I haven't in it. tried that. This one. It's yeah. called Sangpa. 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 Yeah. Sangpa. I've, I've never Ooh. used it. Yeah. I like this one, the 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 Shingmul Nara one. Oh, this one. Yeah, Ooh, this it's one, really I like this good. One it's big. Yeah, yeah. It's for ba face and body. Right. I guess they don't include the cushion because they don't want people to try it. Yeah. So they'll give you a separate one if you do ask for one. Right. Right. But yeah, this one does have a little bit of white cast, but I like this one. This yeah. one's really nice. It's big and it's easy to reapply again. Like exactly. I hate touching my face. Yeah. Especially when you have like makeup on. Oh. And then there's a lot of products that um in Korea that um, moms use with the babies as well like for yeah. babies but yeah and also this one's great because it's sun gel mm. again so again what's great about korean sun care is that there's definitely a lot of choices there's different exactly. ways you can apply yeah i think only within the two three years it's gel but it's still white it's it's very very fluidy huh mm. ah so light oh yeah. my god so light so it's so not a real gel use. it's still like milky but oh my gosh this is so easy to use because when it said gel i thought it was gonna be clear yeah, yeah. There you go, oxygen water, like really gel. easy to use. I mean, within two, three years, there's so many good sunscreens. Now yeah. it's difficult. There's, ah, uh, 진짜 많아. There's so many now. Yeah. I, I remember, like, even three years ago or whatever, there yeah. weren't as many good ones. Yeah. But now, this uh, is the OG. These Japanese ones are the OG. Oh my gosh, so many people with these. love it still, yeah. till this day. Yeah, it's because it was favorite. one of the first sunscreens that came out that wasn't as really heavy right. and it was light, it felt like fluidy, it felt like lotion, and it didn't smell like the beach, right? Exactly. Um, can you tell me a little bit why this is good because it's in cream or... Well, really, it's it's mineral, right? Right, right. It's just not a chemical. Mm. And so it becomes, it's, it's a little bit more expensive than uh, the regular the chemical sunscreen. Right. Uh -huh. but the physical way of screening sun is like you have a barrier whereas the chemical is that the chemical turns the rays into non-harmful right like particles right right and so but i feel that zinc creams or physical barriers are more effective yeah. even though people don't like them because of the it casts I, like a white cast, cast. Yeah. yeah but it's more i guess gentle on the skin right Definitely if you do compare it oh. and, and, i mean at the end of the day it's more effective in my mind right so i right. prefer mineral right um i actually choose i think in korea there's so many mineral sunscreens without the white cast it's that a good you ones. can avoid yeah, 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 the yeah. white cast so another favorite of mine that i always talk about is this one this is the og one mm. this is my first love mm. clear soft air uv essence mm. I was like, wow. And mm. then everything started like, mm. every, there were so many good ones. I liked the H, the mm. AHC one too. This one, it is like, um, it does have a white cast. It has this beautiful blue color, but it's just my skin won't work with it. Mm. So I love the formulation, but it's just that it does look a little bit like, too cake, blue on yeah, you? too cakey on my mm. skin. So yeah, I wanna like it, but I think that's the yeah. thing about it. Yeah, so sunscreen is like the number one thing. Yeah, never leave your house without it. Yes. Even at home, people don't realize you can get like, you can get UVA, UVB from, actually not UVB, UVA. Yeah. From your uh, rays at like- Window. Your, your windows. Yeah. And also your, I was talking about your laptops. And your mm, screens, about Blu-rays. Blu yeah, Blu-rays. So, you know, yeah. you, you definitely want to be wearing sunblock all the time. Yeah, and actually we're going to do a video uh, today. We're going to film it today, yeah. but I think that's going to go up first. I'll we're talk gonna... about my favorite sunscreen on this video that we're going to do. Yeah, and then we're talking about things that we wish we knew before we were 30, 35 yeah, or 37, you know? I know? started when I was younger. Exactly, and then we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts as well yeah. of the things that we messed up on. Right, all we wish... the messed up things that we did that we regret doing. <laughs> we'll talk about that as well. And we're, I'm doing a video too, so we'll do the do's yes. on Eunice's video and don'ts on mine. Yeah, so please, I'll leave everything in the description below. And even if this video goes up uh, first, I'll make sure to add it afterwards. Mm -mm. She's a Mona Lisa.